Good morning, good morning. We are here in Yerevan, Armenia. Today we're gonna go try out a couple of different more modern foods. I'm very interested in checking out. There's a raw vegan restaurant. From there, we'll kind of see what the day takes us. Let's continue this food tour. I'm gonna take a little slight detour and try some Eastern traditional Armenian dishes called the uh, Jengovli hats. So let's go ahead and check that out first. I'm at one of my favorite restaurants in Armenia called Jengovli hats. These are like an Armenian delicacy. It is a lavash bread that's stuffed with 10 to 30 different types of herbs and greens. And the green composition is actually one of the most important aspects of this dish. So the vegetables and herbs that are in this dish are lettuce, spinach, beet leaves, chickweed, shepherd's purse, viola leaf. Get a little cross section action here. Mm, just creamy. Very savory. And as I was talking about earlier with the greens, like it's not, you don't get this bitter taste that you would kind of expect. It's very almost tasteless to an extent. A little bit of oil, but honestly, like this is just a, this is an absolute favorite. You can add these seasonings to the Jingobli hat. Personally, don't add the salt myself, but I do add a little bit of cayenne pepper and the pepper is so. What I love about the cayenne pepper is that it gives a little bit of kick. It kind of reminds me almost of like street food. Lavash bread is probably the national bread of Armenia. And Jengubli hats is a traditional dish of the Nagorno Karabakh region, but that's the region down south, a little bit contested right now between Armenia and Azerbaijan. I'm not gonna speak on that matter because I don't know all the details. So this is more of the traditional Eastern style food. If you check out my previous video, I made a video about more of the Western Armenian food. And if any Armenians are watching this, if you don't mind, please leave a comment and kind of elaborate more on what's the difference between Eastern and Western Armenian cuisine. So I'm here to part. I just finished my meal at Jengobli Hat. One thing I love about that restaurant is that is very inexpensive. One Jengobli hat costs 700 dram. Um, but with that said, I do want to go check out another restaurant. I do have a really good soup that I want to show you guys. So let's make it happen. <laughs> that opened up, I think, three years ago. And the concept of it is that there literally are 12 tables within the restaurant. They don't have a ton of vegan options. Um, they have like avocado toast. They got some bruschetta with tomatoes. They have a couple of soups. And they have one salad. And they have one pasta dish and a vegan burger. So what we have here is a green pea soup. It's very simple. Just kind of a creamy, very succulent, savory soup. So what we have here is avocado toast. Nice little cross section there. Mm. So the bread itself is providing this nice smoky flavor to an extent. You get a nice crunch with each bite. And it's a beautiful contrast between the crunchiness of the bread with the creaminess and kind of sweetness of the avocado and tomato. One thing I noticed about this particular avocado toast is that it's got like a little bit of zest to it, a kick to it as an aftertaste. You now I was kind of here starting to talk to you, I'm trying to feel this little, this little zing in my mouth. So that was 12 tables. Sorry I couldn't film too much in there. It was pretty noisy, lighting wasn't that great, so it was kind of actually difficult to film. But I did try the green pea soup, which I really enjoyed. So that was my think, what, fourth or fifth restaurant right now. Continuing this modern cuisine food tour here in Yerevan. But I'm at my last restaurant called Guru. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. So I just had a nice conversation with the owner of the restaurant. Um, 
Um, it's a kind of a project that a couple from Armenia decided to open up. This is a restaurant. We have professional chef. He's he, he came from Moscow with great background, and he's motivated to create things. And our name Guru comes from French gourmet, which means tasty taste. So the taste is the fundament. Awesome. We want to make it professional, beautiful, you know, like gourmet cuisine, but using all those principles. The house was ruined and we wanted to renovate it. So the restaurant is the second stage, but all the neighborhood here were, were very happy. So I went ahead and I got a cauliflower steak. Now I've never had this before. Cauliflower is typically used in a lot of plant-based dishes. So you see things as like cauliflower rice, cauliflower wings. Um, cauliflower kind of dates back to sometimes a little bit of the middle ages. Okay. <laughs> I am very excited right now. This dish looks absolutely amazing. If this was had to pass an eye test, it's got an A++. So what we have here is a beautiful cauliflower steak. But what I see is cauliflower, cilantro, lemon, oats, pumpkin seeds, because if it tastes good as it looks, I don't know why you guys aren't eating plant-based. Just saying. I really don't know where to start. Go ahead and get a nice, bite of that cauliflower. Mm. Wow. The marinade on this steak, it's got this little bit of sweetness to it, but at the same time, it's got a little bit of smokiness. You get this very rich flavor from the pumpkin cream. Wow. There's a lot going on with this dish. A lot of different flavors that are kind of hitting you at once. And the cauliflower itself is very tender, almost melts in your mouth. And then you get this nice, beautiful crunch from the oats, the pumpkin seed. And on top of that, you put this little kind of almost hint of sweetness from the goji berry. The levels of flavor in this dish are stunning. Mmm. Mmm. Slightly seasoned. There seems to be a little bit of sesame seeds and black seeds on this as well. This might be my favorite dish that I've had today. I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure what this is. If anybody's watching this and knows, let me know. Go ahead and take a look at that cauliflower. Look how beautifully seasoned it is and marinated. It's got this nice yellow hue to it. Almost looks like there might be might have been soaked in like turmeric. Mm. Just the fact that you can take all these number of different ingredients: oats, pumpkin seeds, goji berries, cauliflower, cilantro. Pumpkin, turmeric, lemon, and just make a beautiful fusion of a dish like this. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to create this video today to kind of showcase a lot of these innovative, progressive, kind of more forward thinking restaurants. This channel is definitely dedicated to highlighting and exploring different traditional plant based dishes, but at the same time, equally important to focus on a lot of these modern dishes, a lot of people who are being creative, bringing different cuisines into their own, you know, national motherland. There's some dishes that you have in life that literally just kind of change your life. <laughs> and this is definitely one of them. And it's just dishes that you'll never forget. And this is one that I'll never forget and I'm happy and I'm glad that I'm actually able to share this with you guys. As I've said in the past, I really believe that Armenia, I don't know what it is about this place that draws me to it, but I think this place is going to be somewhere that you're gonna wanna be in the next three to five to seven years. And it's cousin to the north, Georgia, is very popular right now. I highly recommend going there as well. Check out my videos on the country of Georgia. I really see this place kind of booming in the next couple of years. If you haven't heard of Armenia, you don't know where it's at. It's in the Caucasus region, west of Turkey, north of Iran, south of Georgia and Russia. Beautiful, natural, landscapes very hospitable people I've kind of heard people say it's Europe without the euro and if you're here come to this restaurant let them know that global boy sent you so this restaurant kind of does a number of different like events and plays music and you know, there's a big garden in the background so it's kind of almost like this kind of multi-faceted almost like center 
Um, hopefully I can talk with the owner a little bit later and kind of get a little bit more information about you know what they see and what they envision for this project. The idea was to keep the house, to show people that okay you can keep the, the meanings, you can tell people the story, you can, still you can keep everything but make another business here which will... But again the restaurant also, you, you know the concept, so we didn't want to have regular menu, we wanted to make the menu interesting, conscious eating. What makes you want to promote conscious eating? When, when you say healthy eating, it is very different. Every person considers healthy very different things. Yeah. For example, vegans think that they are healthy, but not all of the vegans uh, are yeah, really healthy. Because I agree. You, you can eat a lot of sugar, you can drink coca, you can like eat falafel burgers, like vegan burgers, but this is like this is not healthy. Right, it's, right. it's crazy. It's like it's uh, uh, destroying everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the same with vegetarianism, the same with gluten-free, like, okay, you make it gluten-free, it doesn't make, it doesn't mean it's healthy. I mean, mm. In the States, there is a problem with the CBA. wheat, yeah, right, right. because it's DNA, so it's another problem. It's not the problem of gluten, it's the problem of DNA. Mm. Here, the same, um, for example, my sister-in-law, she lives in the USA, and she has this gluten problem there. When she comes here, she eats bread. No she, issues. She, and, and she doesn't have the reaction. So it's not about gluten, so it doesn't mean that you put the gluten-free uh, like mark everywhere and it, it doesn't make it healthy. Right. I mean, so we took like several principles that we consider truly healthy. For example, first are the freshness of the ingredients mm. and where do they come from. We try to bring organic, but it's not always possible okay. because you don't have a the big like variety of organic products here mm. uh, but still we're trying to make it as ecological as it is possible Definitely. so the first is ingredients the second is how you prepare it mm. so we don't fry we don't process we don't add any conservatives or additives or chemicals or right. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the second the third we do not use sugar anywhere nor in the desserts nor in bar as I told you yeah. nor in uh, the kitchen so all our sauces everything is made without sugar we don't use fast carbs we don't have refinated oils we don't boil oils we use butter so we use only raw vegan oils okay if you want to make it healthy you should be conscious just... of each like thing not just if it's gluten free doesn't mean it's healthy, healthy, right. healthy. so we have gluten free options of course we have vegan options, we have raw options even in desserts. So just finished an awesome conversation with the owner. I'm hearing her talk, I like I need to try a dessert. So what we have here is this mousse. I believe it's a blackberry mousse. They've been perfecting these recipes for almost three years now. So all of their desserts are sugar free. No chemicals, no additives. They're really trying to promote the conscious eating. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Mmm. Wow. This almost tastes like blueberry pie. So I'm here back at my Airbnb, finished off that Yerevan food tour. I have to say, <laughs> that last restaurant really, really, really was the highlight of this tour. Really just captivated by the presentation of the dish, the taste of the food, and then talking with the owner, just understanding their mission, the why, the vision that they have. That by far, hands down, was my favorite restaurant. So with that, I'm actually wrapping this up. If you're not subscribed, please do. If you got any questions, you got any comments, you got some feedback, please leave it down below in the comment section. Like this video, share it with your friends. Until then, I'll see you on the next journey.